trip as a whole is around raising awareness around the growing importance of this area that we call the last ice area. It's the high Arctic archipelago in, in Canada. And from the climate models and predictions that have been made, it seems that um, a lot of the Arctic is going to lose its ice. Um, and this area in, in the high Arctic archipelago, the islands from um, Lancaster Sound North, including Devon Island, where we now are, and Ellesmere Island, and Axel Heiberg, and other islands, will continue to have uh, ice, both, both annual and multi-year ice. And that ice is important as a habitat for a whole variety of different species. So the ice is important for the ecosystem as a whole, and as it shrinks, the areas that retain their ice are going to become globally significant. Ice physicists have found that the ice is thinning, both uh, in the annual ice that we would find in this location and also the multi-year ice. It's not uh, as thick as it used to be. Uh, the Arctic is warming at twice the rate of the global average, and, and that's uh, and that's because of act actions done by people outside the Arctic. We're in the initial stages of gathering some of that information. Some of that is happening here on this trip, thanks to the sponsorship of Canon, um, and we'll be doing a lot more in the coming years. Sophie Chalet is a, is a researcher who's studying um, the impacts or the significance of, of plankton and uh, microorganisms in the, in the, in the oceans and, and it's a particular interest in seeing how the Arctic uh, might differ from other oceans. So to sample plankton I use a bottle called Neskin bottle and we attach it to a cable and the bottle is lowered to a certain depth and then we filter the water. So we filter 200 micron to remove the particles and the zooplankton we don't really want. And after we filter another smaller mesh that will harvest all the phytoplankton we want to study. The phytoplankton is very important for all the marine life because it's the base of the, all the trophic chain. So it feeds the fishes, the invertebrates and the marine mammals. So it's very important to know what's happening with phytoplankton. We're very grateful for Canon for, for providing the funding for this trip and, and we're communicating that um, really to uh, a global audience. We're also investing in uh, research. Um, we're also looking at uh, helping to um, support a, a traditional knowledge survey that would complement the um, scientific surveys being done by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and hopefully allow both the traditional knowledge and the scientific knowledge to come together.